Chris Chinock here in the TI suite at CES 2013 um, with a company called uh, Siconix. And they have a uh, very interesting little, uh, I think this is probably the smallest little uh, Pico projector that uh, uh, I've ever seen. Um, so this is, um, it has a micro USB uh, input for this. Uh, they don't specify the, the lumen output, but my guess is probably 20 to, to 40 lumens. Uh, it's an NHD resolution device, so uh, in a 0.2 inch uh, uh, package. So obviously very tiny. Uh, targeting this, uh, really, it's it's actually kind of more like almost a keychain uh, kind of an item. Uh, really nice kind of a, a giveaway item also. Um, and th this company's actually been around uh, doing DLP development for, for quite some time, a, a Korea-based company. They actually make the engine that goes into the Samsung uh, Galaxy uh, phone that has the integrated uh, Pico projector, uh, the Galaxy Beam uh, uh, with the integrated Pico projector. So very interesting product. Uh, hope to, uh, they're still looking for a, a customer for this uh, right now, uh, but ideally this can be uh, under $100, almost a novelty or uh, an impulse buy gift. So uh, think about that, all right? Let's go look at some more stuff at the TI booth. All right, what you can see here in the in the TI suite is, uh, is a new product. This is, a, uh, I think, the smallest ultra short throw projector from Hitachi. Hitachi's been a very strong uh, three LCD supporter. This is, I think, their first uh, DLP product. Uh, well, certainly it's the first Pico uh, LCD product, uh, DLP product in, uh, that they, they've done. Uh, very short throw, um, 0.45 uh, wide XGA uh, resolution projector. Uh, probably in the eleven, twelve hundred dollar uh, range, and uh, how many lumens was it approximately? You think? Not, not sure about the lumen out, but, uh, but uh, very obviously a very nice little uh, unit here. So we wish them luck. What you're looking at here is a, uh, a new HUD design that TI has been working on as an internal project. Uh, this is a, actually a, a, a new chip th that they've developed and will soon be released, uh, specifically designed for the automotive uh, HUD market. Uh, last year they showed this with a field of view of about 3 degrees by 7 degrees horizontally. They've now expanded that to 3 degrees by 12 degrees. 12 degrees is, prob uh, I think, state of the art in terms of a uh, uh, field of view. Most most of them out there today are about uh, six degrees. So this is very wide, uh, very nice little uh, 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 image quality as you can see through here. Um, now what they've done is they have a very tiny uh, Pico engine here. They're actually in this demo. They're actually using the Brookstone uh, Pico projector, uh, which goes through a, a, a 45 mirror uh, onto a dispersive uh, screen, uh, rear projection screen, and then two spherical mirrors. Uh, well, one spherical mirror in the back of the unit here and then and projects up onto the spherical combiner. Uh, this combiner is kind of designed to sit on the dashboard of the car and would flip down when not in use and flip up when you wanted to, to use it. Um, so um, uh, this is probably going to be, um, uh, well, it, it, I, I believe they would be working with a, a tier, uh, the usual suspects in tier one automotive uh, uh, OEMs. Uh, to integrate this into a car, uh, they c of course they can't say who that is at, at this point. Now the focus of this thing is about at the end of the car, uh, which does require you to refocus from the the road to the HUD. Um, it's a it's a minor refocus, but still a a, a focus. Um, so I asked them if uh, what it would take to push that focus further out, uh, and it can be done. They're actually looking at that, but it requires uh, more optical power and it requires bigger lenses. So. Uh, that's a that's a design consideration they have to uh, uh, to think about. So that's uh, pretty much the story here from the TI suite at CES 2013. Chris Chinock for Display Central.